So hi guys, this is just me, George. I know it's been a minute and it's Halloween, as you can see. And for today's adventure with uh, George, or just me, George, it's a lot. It's a fully packed Halloween. So I'm going to take you through my experience, you know, with carving those uh, pumpkins. And also, I love cars. And we have a special edition of a monster truck you know, Grave Digger. And also it's in the same theme with what? With Halloween. And uh, other than that, I'll also show you or give you an experience of um, eye fly. It's more or less like skydiving, but now it's indoor. And also a little bit of Texas, you know, cow riding. Is it cow riding? I think it's bull riding. So stay tuned. And um, if you have not subscribed yet, kindly do so and uh, share, like, comment and subscribe. So without much ado, what comes into your mind when you hear the word Halloween? I know for majority of you, you always think of all these scary stuff, you know, those silly masks like this one right here. Or maybe it may be about a costume and uh maybe about trick or treat you know with the candy where people go out and uh, give the candies to the kids and just enjoy or it may be something which is really really weird like you come across a car with really really weird stuff skeletons like this one here and other than that you know halloween is one of the most celebrated uh, holidays in america it's not that common here in kenya and uh yeah it includes having pumpkins just like that and one of the things that you need to do first of course you need to go to the farm pick a nice is it orange yeah orange pumpkin then you have to go through all those processes you know cutting it like this one i had to do um which you know <laughs> i got ideas from Harry Potter. So I wanted to do the witch with the broomstick, you know, like riding. So I had to carve it, you know, remove the seeds, which is cumbersome. And that was the final product, which is really nice when you put the lightings and everything. Then you have to put it outside your house. Other than that, I finally got this crazy Halloween costume. And you can see the red hair, you can see... <laughs> those silly uh teeth and also look at my friend here i mean he was a werewolf and look at those toes so yeah experiencing halloween one one yep and you know when it comes to halloween people can really be crazy you know decorating houses yeah. so coming to the second part of these we had to go to virginia beach and we had to pass through an underground tunnel not just any other tunnel this is a tunnel that goes through under the ocean and it's considered to be one of the seven wonders of the world that is for the man-made section and it connects uh, virginia mainland and also with uh, virginia beach near norfolk where we have the u.s navy and uh, everything so it's a pretty pretty long bridge and tunnel it's actually 17.6 miles long when you convert that to kilometers it's close to around um, i think 38 kilometers to be precise and it takes you around 25 minutes just to go through so this was the moment i mean imagine going down the ocean in a tunnel so you could feel just the excitement inside me and uh yeah just going through that so it's more or less like what we have in mombasa the kipevu causeway and makupa causeway connecting uh mombasa island i hope you know that mombasa is an island and uh, mombasa mainland so but now in this we don't have a causeway it's just a tunnel built under the ocean so this was just something cool, something out of the world. Yeah, and moments are made of this. If you can look at the GPS, you see it's just showing us that we are cruising under the ocean. 
yeah you can see the blue yeah so the tunnel itself is around um, five minutes long when you're inside the car then you come outside but you still have that long bridge so it's actually called the chesapeake bay bridge and i i said earlier on it's 17.6 miles long freaking 17.6 miles long so yeah we wanna say tembea uone mengi and uh, i feel like this is just one of those moments whereby it's just unbelievable like what people can do or human beings can do and we left home very early in the morning around 4 a.m and by the time we were reaching uh, outskirts of north carolina remember we are going through north carolina then also heading to virginia beach it was now sunrise and our first shop or stopover was a, a beach house and uh, where they're just selling all this uh, stuff for swimming and yeah i had to actually take a souvenir that is from outer banks north carolina yeah i think there is a netflix movie which was shot here outer banks and uh, it's just one of those experience and nice school experiences whereby you need to take something home something that is going to remind you of a place so yeah so after buying all those stuff we had to go to the grave digger you know experiencing these monster trucks and just how cool they are and they are massive oh my goodness like um i think i'm six two and i couldn't even the height of a tire was actually bigger than me so i could just feel the excitement like oh my goodness i'm going to be aboard one of these monster trucks and i think they have more than a thousand horsepower and i mean if you look at those front axle rear axle and uh, the suspension it's just something really cool you know if you really love cars then this is something that it's worth looking at so there we are on board the monster truck and ready to rock and roll up and down these uh, huge obstacles including uh, a bus and you could just feel the thrill and I just don't understand you know with the likes of grave digger when they do those stunts they normally like shoot up in the air close to 15 meters high and I mean for us we couldn't do that because of security reasons and uh, because of the safety reasons but just feeling the intensity of the car going through those turns, going up and down those obstacles. Yeah. It was just something cool and one of a kind. And to go through this amazing forest, jumping up and down. Yeah. That's okay. Moments are made of this. <laughs> So now the monster truck ride came to an end and we had to proceed and go explore other adventures, you know? And this was now the bull <laughs> rodeo. I think, yeah, that's that's the word. 
and it was pretty intense, you know, going up and down and um, yeah, then I was down, had to do it again, now with my hands up and just, you know, feeling like a Texas or, you know, cow ranger. Yeah, that was just something quite interesting. But the moment you hit the floor, it's painful. Then I felt like a Comanche here and uh, just boot heel saloon, you know, feeling like back in the days with a gun. Yeah. Then I had to go and stroll along Virginia Beach yeah. and uh, just enjoying the saltiness. You know, you can actually feel the smell of salt. Other than that, we went for eye flying, which is another something cool that you can really enjoy and you see this is the pro version of what you can do when it comes to indoor skydiving or i fly and uh, i actually had to go through the same experience and they teach you before going to the wind tunnel you know you may look at it and feel like oh no this one is just cgi i mean computer generated imagery but no this actually happened we had to go through the learning process where they teach you how to balance and you know one thing in life people normally take things for granted take for instance when you look at the birds flying you think that it's easy so <laughs> going through the training process and just balancing how to glide it's not that easy so the moment came and i had to go through the wind tunnel and there is just this gust of air blowing from below and there is that protective wire mesh beneath and you actually have to like stay flat with which as you can see it was very difficult because <laughs> my abdomen was below and my air my hands and legs were like just flopping almost bending over so yeah but i could just enjoy you know feeling the gust of air passing through between, between your legs and also your hands and when you slightly change your body you feel like you are almost toppling over so yeah i feel like this is physics 101 you know where you deal with velocity and if the velocity is high is it speed anyway i'm not going to those details i need to looks like i'm a little bit rough when it comes to my physics but yeah this was just so cool spreading your hands and just feeling the air and yeah so this was part one pretty enjoyable and then we had nehemiah i miss him yeah so you also had to go through the wind tunnel and uh, i laughed a lot because uwa wanasema ukiona Mwenzako amenyolewa tia yako maji. So, <laughs> he thought that it was going to be easy and when I was coming out he was really laughing at me like the way I was doing it and looking at him he was like all over the place and he couldn't even find the balance but I mean moments are made of this like just seeing that a little kid going up and down and it's like if anything or the trainer just leaves him he's going to be like blown to the top of the wind tunnel and just look at his legs Whew. god bless his soul <laughs> and just looking at him i was like so now i know what i need to do and even the trainer was like making fun of him and the way he was wobbling up and down and look at that trick yeah i fly you really need to check this out um, so I had to go for round two, round one was down and we were actually going to do the high altitude test and now this is why it's really really intense and uh, you know the icing on the cake. At least I could balance a little bit and just float without the help of the trainer though still i needed to find that balance and just resonate with the air you know and just try to ride the air waves 
yeah, it was just pretty cool. And I was just really waiting for that moment where we could go together. Yeah. So here we go. He had to grab me, of course, because uh, I still needed his help. And we started cruising, going up and down, you know, cruising like an eagle. I feel so high. Yeah. So this was just a surreal moment and something that I will never forget. And uh, at the end of it all, coming out of the wind tunnel was difficult. You know, there was that funny scene. Yep. So that that's it for this video. And uh, I mean, look at that. They say practice makes perfect. I know personally I couldn't do that because I had to train for 20 minutes before going to the wind tunnel. But this is what you can actually do when you are a pro in this sector. So that is I Fly Virginia Beach. And that was just my Halloween experience, you know. It was just fully packed. I really enjoyed had a ride on the monster truck and yeah we had to go back home and uh, pass by that chesapeake bay bridge again and moments were made of this so feel free to comment share and subscribe in my channel share with friends and uh, if there is any other thing you love or like me to do let me know Peace out and see you in the next adventure. Remember, it's just me, George.